I went to school with Faroe's Mater's granddaughter and um, I'm going to read part of a talk given at Dilkusha Forest Hill in London on the 1st of October 1989 um, which happened to be Faroe's Mater's 87th birthday and the title of um, this talk is The Importance of Birthdays. In a world of over 5,000 million people there are on average 14 million birthdays every day. And yet, very few people, if any, actually appreciate the extraordinary importance of a birthday. The whole universe is at work. Not only our parents producing each one of us, the very stars in their courses have labored and continue to labor, hence the validity of astrology, to bring us into unique, particular and separate being out of the unitary, infinite non-being. Materially, we are the children of stardust. Spiritually, of the divine energy whose creative action in eternity is ceaseless. So indeed, stars and unseen powers shape and affect our lives and destinies and we in turn affect the cosmos, so much so that the movement of an arm, or the winking of an eye, or a stir of the mind and the heart affect the furthest stars and the divine unknown powers that be. Powers designated by Milton as thrones, dominations, princedoms, virtues, powers. So to me, the celebration of a birthday can be a veritable entertaining of the company of heaven and the multitude of earth. Heaven and earth, the mother and father of all manifestation. You may recall Homer called earth the wife of starry heaven. How extraordinary then, how important is a birthday? A day most fit for divine contemplation of all those spiritual values, love, wisdom, truth, purity, goodness and beauty, which marks with special and transcendent significance the deep meaning of our humanness. So let such an occasion be remembered as a thing of beauty. That lovely English poet John Keats starts his great poem Endymion with a thing of beauty is a joy forever and concludes his ode to a Grecian urn with beauty is truth, truth beauty and that is all ye know on earth and all ye need to know and I would add to that love is truth, truth is beauty in the one commandment of Jesus, love ye one another as I have loved you, is the way of truth and wisdom and beauty.